Well, good evening for those of you out there watching. Uh, we're in, well, we're just north of Billings, Montana. We were in Sydney, Montana yesterday. So for those of you knowing we were in Sydney, Montana, we're now in just north of Billings a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, let's take a gander here at the, uh, the loads available out of this particular mine. We'll have to fire things up. See if they'll start. And we have contact. We are going to take a gander. Whip around here and take a gander at the load board. See what they got going out of this mine. I admit it's kind of nice just to be able to get loaded right here at this facility. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got uh, 156,000 in earnings. And for those of you keeping track, I'm on my way to a million before I make any upgrades. So this old Pete's going to have to last until we can complete that mission. Or right there, we've got, well, I just took tires in. Uh, it looks like the same load. Now, it, now they wanted to go to. Lewiston, Montana. Anyway, I think we'll just take this load over to Lewiston. It's just a short hop, and then we'll see what they have available there in Lewiston. This big boy whipped around here without running into the wall. Ooh, come on, big boy. There you go. Oh, Pete. I believe that trailer is going to be right here to the right. And there she be. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We just unhooked that last night, boys. That's going to be a pain in the butt to get under. I just didn't feel like I could make that turn, but maybe I was wrong. Yeah, we killed the truck again. We're getting famous about that. I'll start keeping track how many times I killed the truck. You know what? I think we're just going to go right back to that way and uh, go over the top of this thing. And... I'll bet you we can, now nah, we're gonna get over here on this dirt. See if we can back up to that thing. <laughs> right alongside. That oversized load. bit of a tight fit here <clears throat> but we can do it Thursday at 5.27 a.m. I wonder what that is right there. Huh. I have no idea what that's all about. I guess there's still a lot of things for me to learn. And the sun begins to rise. Here in Montana. We're sneaking on out of here while, while everybody else is sleeping, I guess. Or maybe working in the buildings. 
<clears throat> Although I, I guess I did see coal out there on the on the wheel. They're getting piled into a pile. American flag. Good morning, beautiful. Might need a little room here and make this turn. I don't want to take out none of the locals. <clears throat> Comes cop. You'll just have to excuse me, car. Thank you. Maybe drag it in the rock there a little bit, but we made it. <clears throat> kind of my fault. I'll be a little bit careful on this road. <clears throat> when I came in here, I came into a turn a little bit, a little bit too fast. Made her squeal just a touch. Yeah, somebody tried to start out in sixth gear back there. Killed the truck, left it in high range. So, my fault straightened out here. Get on up here to Lewiston. Only 110 miles to Lewiston. Uh-huh. Might have dropped her off the road there just a touch. It happens. here it's got some flat curves on it there's that cop again what in the world I guess he's just out cruising the neighborhood huh Got four videos out on uh, YouTube right now. They're all doing pretty good. Got a few, uh, few subscribe subscribers. About a uh, 800 and uh, I can't remember if it was 68 or 72. So for those of you jumping on board and riding along with Papa Pickle, glad to have you aboard. Anybody that wants to join, just Click that little subscribe button there and uh, ride along with us anytime you want to. Sometimes we come up with stories to tell and sometimes we just ride along. Just depends on how we feel, what's on our mind for the day. I think in my last video that uh, did not record, I kind of talked about how relaxing this uh, little game is for me and uh, how much I do enjoy it. It uh, gives me an opportunity to just step away, 
from the stress of daily life and working and it seems as though the, every this is a four way stop sign boys <clears throat> it seems as though that I've always been in a high pressure job a lot of stress kind of nice just to step away from that Went and seen my banker this morning. Uh, got a couple of businesses we run, and one's just a, it's just a smaller farming operation. We don't have a whole lot, probably maybe 300 acres of row crop, and <clears throat> about the same in hay. Went and seen the banker, had to write him a check, make a payment on some equipment I've got. Actually, it's a tractor. Always hurts to have to make those payments. Cash is king, you know, but uh, you gotta make them payments. And them tractors are expensive anymore. Wow. Seems like every time we play this little game, we're always running a night load. Looks like we're going to be able to work through the morning hours here. We got 69 miles left to go is all to Lewiston to drop this load and then we'll, we'll see if we can't pick up another one for this video and make a make two trips out of this one. It's going to keep it about 55 miles an hour through here. I don't trust these turns, these corners, curves, I should say. It's like just glide around them. snow pants to the right there. You get some uh, <clears throat> pretty wild storms in Montana in the wintertime. They can get a bunch of snow in one setting. Had a little bit of that ourselves right here in Iowa back in January. We had a about a 10 day snap there of bitter cold and a lot of snow. In fact, we, uh, I think we got a turn, I'm not sure. Yes, we did. We got quite a bit of snow, in fact, could not get from one farmhouse to the other. <clears throat> because of, uh, <clears throat> oh, I'd say them snow drifts were easily 15 feet in the road, and the road maintainers could not, it took a while for them to get through them. What are you doing, young man? All right, you want to follow me? That's fine. Now, sometimes that thing does that to me. Luckily, during that little cold snap, I was able to get one of my tractors started. We had to cover the hood <clears throat> with a with a tarp just to keep it, just to get it to warm up. It was so cold, and then we had to drive across the bean field to get to the other farm. We had to do that twice a day to go over there and tend to the animals that were there at the other farm. 
You do what you got to do, I guess. I think that lasted about three days driving back and forth on the tractor. Now we're sitting here looking at a situation where it was 74 degrees yesterday. This morning's high, I believe, was about 62 or 63. And by tomorrow morning, they are saying we could be seven below zero with the wind chill. Now that's... I've seen some extreme fluctuations in weather here in Iowa before, but that is definitely a huge extreme. That's a big change, 74 to possibly minus 7 with the wind chill. Hard on everything. Hard on equipment. <clears throat> Hard on critters. are in Lewiston, Lewiston, Montana. I am not looking forward to tomorrow morning. If it's going to be that cold, I do not like cold weather. I don't mind cool weather, and the wind is supposed to blow pretty strong when this little front arrives here. So when I get done taping this, I'll be heading over to the farm and buttoning down the hatches, I guess. I've got a newborn little foal that I put outside today with his mother just so it can get some sunshine, at least the sun's shining. And that sunshine's really important to those young, those young animals. So we get him outside, at least for today, because he might be stuck in the barn all day uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be that cold. We got another mare that uh, I think is gonna foal, maybe, maybe tonight. Might as well, it's supposed to be really cold and miserable. That's usually when they do it. <laughs> Next week I will be making a trip to North Dakota. In fact, I'll leave on Saturday meet up with a brother of mine in Grand Island, Nebraska. He'll be meeting me from there from Texas. And uh, we're going to make a trip up to North Dakota. We've got some family business we have to tend to up there regarding our mother's estate. Must not be too far from our drop, and it must be just right, right off the road here. Oh, this is an easy drop. Mm -hmm. Well, now. It'll be a bit of a tight fit. We get it. I'm sure. Well, I think we need to just pull up a little bit here. I didn't quite get over far enough to get the old green light. We'll uh, 
Ah, we'll practice backing up a little bit. How's that sound? Ain't got a whole lot of room to do too much, but we can sure try. We'll get it in there. We'll get that light to turn green. There we go. All right, we're going to detach the old trailer here. Go check the load board. Well, 134 miles made $4,575. So now we'll wander over there to that load board, see what they got. I bet it's going to be that FedEx trailer. We're going to take this uh, FedEx trailer to Gillette, Wyoming, 389 miles. Let's go back to Gillette. At least we can get loaded right here. Take us a little old short FedEx trailer. What do you think? These folks got to have their packages, right? Down in Gillette. Son. Did not line up to that trailer very well, did you? In fact, you did a horrible job. Acting like a rookie. It's all right. We'll still get it. <laughs> all right. Up with the dollies. And off to Gillette, Wyoming we go. I believe we were just in Gillette the other day. Anybody? Sneaking through the X's there. Uh huh. Packages are a little heavier than I suspected. Pay attention to what I'm doing here. Downtown Lewiston, Montana. Anybody want to take a nap, now would be the time to do it. It takes a while. There we go. There's that cop again. We're just going to whip in here and fuel up rather than take a chance. We got half a tank, looks like, but it don't hurt to be full. You guys ever go trucking in Montana, <clears throat> North Dakota, places like that in the wintertime? Keep your tanks full. When you have a chance to top them off, top them off, keep them full. 
You never know when you're going to be sitting there. Got to turn the truck off. EPA regulation. 92 gallons. $375 spent. Just right on out the window. Didn't take long. All right, FedEx, come along. Follow me. And I will get you where you need to go. I can't promise you that. We will have it there come Hecker High Water. We will be there. Lift turn, Clyde. Hmm. Kind of hard to see out that window. It's all right. I will cock it a little bit. Take a gander. There we go. I don't know if any of you noticed, but, uh, well, I just made my loan installment payment as well. <clears throat> I tend to make uh, sweeping turns. I don't like to turn real sharp for a couple of reasons. It's uh, hard on the bearings, hard on the tires. That's one. And the other one is, is when you just, when you turn real sharp, you know, swing real wide and turn real sharp, it just defeats your purpose because the back of the trailer when uh, when you're really turning sharp kind of just stays in one spot instead of following the truck so you're basically better off being about a well, half or a half turn or a little better away from the trailer and then that trailer will just follow right along I mean it will still stagger off but it just makes it a lot easier to make those turns. There will be times, however, where you just absolutely have to make a sharp turn. There ain't nothing you can do about it. You just got to do it. It's just a boy boogie in a little bit here. Down here to Billings. Now I'm sure, because I have a map in my head, that I will be getting on 94. And I will hook up on 90, going down to Sheridan. And then on over to Gillette. We have some road construction. Hmm. Left lane closed, waiting on the traffic light. There we go. Come on, truck, get on in there. Don't mean to confuse you so much. Sometimes, I've mentioned before, I think I just move a little too fast. <clears throat> There's that copper again. Boy, he is definitely out prowling, isn't he?
Not a bad deal. <clears throat> Make a little better than $4,000 to hop them tires up there to Lewiston. And then pick up a pretty good load. I'm coming over, car. Pretty good load going back to Gillette, Wyoming. It'll be a kind of a profitable day here as long as nothing happens. Don't have a flat tire or anything like that. Right turn, Clyde. <clears throat> I was out in Idaho one time in the summertime with a load of cows. Sometimes you'd You'd haul cattle out of southern Colorado to uh, back to Montana, or southern California, excuse me. Back to Montana, because of the unbearable heat in California, get them to a cooler climate. Anyway, I'm in uh, Idaho on my way to Montana with this load of cows, and it's about 80, 85 degrees outside. I'm at a stoplight. Now, I'm driving a bull wagon. Most of the folks in Idaho, Montana, places like that, they pay close attention to bull wagons. And uh, especially when it's hot outside, they don't pull up alongside it at a stoplight. Well, I was looking in my rear view mirror, and there come a car, and it came right up alongside my trailer, and it was a convertible with white interior and it had California plates on it so I'm sitting there thinking to myself hmm this gentleman know not what he do and about the time I said that them cattle went to get to rustling around and yep they sloshed her out right inside that car which wasn't nothing I could do about it Anyway, they uh, proceeded to be very upset and pointed me to pull over. And I was just curious as to what they had to say. So I went ahead and pulled over. Well, they called the cops, and the cops showed up. And, uh, of course, they pled their case to the cops. I'll never forget the look on that officer's face. He said, now, let me get this straight. And then he starts giggling. Let me get this straight. You actually, in a convertible car, pulled up alongside a loaded bull wagon. Better pay attention here. I think I got to take this little... GD Jock, yeah, dude. You pulled up alongside a loaded bull wagon when it's 85 degrees outside. And the gentleman kind of sheepishly realized what he had done. And the cop just explained to him that there was absolutely nothing that could be done and told me to get ahead and get on the road. Well, them cattle got hot, so I just went ahead and left. But he, uh, he did explain to that gentleman that there was nothing that could be done. That uh, there was nothing I could do to control that situation. And that uh, he gave him some advice. He said, next time you're in Idaho, uh, do yourself a favor. Don't pull up alongside a loaded bull wagon when it's 85 degrees outside. Yeah. So there you go. That's my story for the day. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Because it did happen. I 
I think we have to take a a really sharp right up here. It kind of looks like I don't understand why that is. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure where it is. Even. I see a blinker. I'll be right here. Gonna take me to Interstate 90. 87 and 90 South. That'll work. And away we go. I'm glad there's nobody in that turning lane there. Because I did not realize I was in a double turn lane there. And I had people turning on my blind side there. I'll get over here where I'm safe. We still have 264 miles to go. On this little adventure. Let's see here. Looks like we got to jump over this thing here and take us left. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, be all right. Might have to just turn on the old wipers. Running pretty good. Free truck wash. That's the way you got to look at it. Underside of this truck cleaned up a little bit. I swear. There's another one of them police officers. Hmm. Getting a little rank out there. Thunder and lightning the whole nine yards. Big road again. Driving through the thunder, the lightning, and the rain. Lordy, lordy. Attention to my little dilly walk down here. Navigational device. This little trail here takes you down to Sheridan, Wyoming. Continues on down for a little ways and then over through South Dakota. Rapid City, places like that. 
from there it takes sail all the way to I believe Milwaukee Wisconsin and further never was much for trucking in the on the East Coast oh I did a few times but oh, I sure didn't like it much it just seemed like I spent more time fighting traffic than I did driving the darn truck making money hmm see if I can get these wipers to go off It'll drive me crazy Well now, I guess I was doing the wrong thing. It still will not go off. I'll be darned. I'll have to talk to my son about that. I do not know why they keep continue to run. Looks like we're gonna be going all the way to Gillette, Wyoming in the sunshine with the wipers on. But they will not go off. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. No, I'm not doing that. Can't do that. I'm going to hit them things there and I've done that once that's all it took well now well boys let's make it a point not to turn on them blinkers again like, or them wipers like that again unless we really have to We have a malfunction. It's all right. I bet you we could pull over somewhere, shut this thing off, start it back up, and then wipers would probably not come back on. I'm not sure. I do know this with the highly intelligent vehicles they have out on the roads today. Uh, you can solve a lot of problems with them just by pulling over, shutting them off, and restarting them. I'm just saying. There is nothing worse in the world. Well, for me anyway, when you're used to everything working right and something's not working right, it just drives me crazy. I have to get it fixed. I have to either get it fixed or fix it myself because I don't like it when things ain't working right. Bypass way station. So, sign R, gentlemen. See you on the next one. I'll whip in just to say Heidi. Just a little bit skeptical of this truck up in front of me here. Can't quite figure out what he's doing. Maybe he's just struggling to get up this hill. Maybe he don't have a peak. Getting a bit foggy too. And I really don't want to run into the back of that guy.
speed limit 80. I ain't gonna be doing no 80 mile an hour in this stuff. It's starting to clear out a little bit now. I can see that pillar up in front of me again. Maybe that was just some smoke we went through there instead of fog. Folks doing a little burning. Come on out here, big truck. I got you blocked. Now I see why he was struggling just a touch to get up them hills he's pulling doubles for General Mills I'll take the lead big guy you know we just got 20 miles to go should be in there early, maybe before it turns dark on us. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got an exit right here. I am gonna turn from this side because I like to be able to see what's on my left. And when you turn the other way and there's a turning lane on your right, you cannot see the car that snuck up alongside you. But, in this lane, you can easily see the car that snuck up alongside you right out your window. All right. Four miles to go. like we're going to be turning here pretty quick. Right there at that stoplight. I do believe this is the same mine. I've already been here once. I kind of like hauling for this mine company. Or I guess this is a FedEx trailer, ain't it? I don't know what the heck. I picked it up at a mine mine office anyway I don't go figure you just tuning in for some reason my blinkers will not shut off we're just putting up with it till we get this load delivered to where it belongs I'm coming over, car. It's the way it is. I'm bigger than you. Ooh, back, big boy. Trying 
try the wipers again, see if they'll shut off. Nope, still stuck on. I don't know what the deal is. I've tried holding the button. I've tried pushing the button. I've tried everything. They don't do nothing. It's like to run. Left turn, Clyde. I used to be in choir when I was in school. And I enjoyed choir quite a bit. I was... I sang baritone. In choir. In fact, the last uh, year or so that I was in choir, I sat over by myself, away from the choir, with a microphone doing baritone. It was fun. I enjoyed it. We are getting close to this drop point. Or FedEx. Well, you know, these folks got to have their packages. Come on, FedEx. Stick with me. Ooh. You know what that's called? That's called an accident. And I do not know where that guy came from. No harm, no foul. What are you going to say? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have never run into anything in my life in a truck. I cannot believe that I just did that. But I did. Don't know how much that cost me. We'll find out where this trailer goes. Driving over their little rumble strip, sir. Dang it. I'm just highly upset over running into that car. I have never run into anything in my life with a truck. All right, I, I see the flag, but... What in the world? Where in the world do you want this trailer? Yeah, it's going to start raining again. It's a good thing our windshield wipers are broke. All right. I see the spot where they want it. Now... I can just, yep, 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 I'll tell you what we're going to do. Would have been nice. <clears throat> just pulled straight on in there. This time I'm just going to flop this big boy around. We'll do whatever it takes to do that. See if we can't just whip around there. Drive her straight on in there. I don't know why I didn't see that when I was coming in last time. Sure would have been much easier. Ah. Yeah. Bam. 
famous last words of a fool right there. Uh, I sure wish it was dark and that we had some backup lights. That would have been nice. Basically, it was a guessing game. But we guessed good. I am not going to get overrun into that car. That, it just bugs me no end. But, y'all saw it. It happened. I did it. Now, just a moment here. Is that that thing is? It's parked right in my way. Huh. Okay. That ain't no problem. We will just uh, venture right on back around this building and just back this thing in. Only we're going to use our noggin a little bit set ourselves up to back it in on the left side instead of the right side. Wouldn't that be a little easier? I'll watch that trailer. I don't want to hook none of those uh, concrete deals back there. Yep, she gonna storm. Oh well. Hey, you gotta use the lightning to your advantage. I ain't gonna be over there far enough. No, heavens no. Well, maybe. Might just get, be able to catch this thing. Nope. Now pull up. We did not track to it good enough. tanker when I have to do that. I don't like that much. And I don't know where that little uh, that right there behind me there. I don't like that either. I'm going to get this sucker in there though. I promise you. Get it in there straight, too. All right, we're going to drop this trailer. We're in Gillette, Wyoming. 393 miles. It says it took us 11 hours. Of $5,206, 633 points. Hmm? Level 9, enthusiast. That wraps it up for today. Until next time.
This is Papa Pickle on behalf of the formal pickle. Bye.